everyone. Welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another Astro Chat episode. Today we're going to take a look at the astrology of 1933. This is the content that was supposed to go at the beginning of the September Outlook. So if you watch the September Outlook, you might have noticed that there was a segment that got cut out and I said I would put it in an Astro Chat episode. So this is that episode. And we're basically going to take a look and see what was happening in 1933. Now, why do I want to bring this up? Well, I was watching an episode by Russell Brand. I'm a real fan of his work. I think he's putting out really good, thought-provoking, intellectually stimulating content at the moment. I just, I really enjoy watching him and what he has to say. He's a fascinating man. And... There's a video that he did recently that had a quote which included 1933 and I've got it up on my screen. I'm going to read it out to you in a moment. But when he read out this quote, it really sparked my astrological mind because I thought, what was going on in 1933 that's similar now? Because we do have a bit of history repeating right now. So I'm going to read the quote to you. It's a quote from an article by BBC Future. And I'll link both the video and the article below. The article is called The Stomp Free Reflex When Governments Abuse Emergency Powers. And the quote is The entire Third Reich occurred during a state of emergency that lasted 12 years. It began in 1933 after Hitler invoked Article 48 of the Weimar Republic allowing for the use of emergency decrees without parliamentary approval. That is a fascinating quote because we can see some of this happening right now. There are emergency powers being rushed through. We also have unelected people. I know we have that in Australia at the moment. Uh, I know in New South Wales we, we have, uh, I believe there's a couple of people who are you know, in, in top positions that are not elected, actually. So that was really interesting to find out. And um, yeah, I thought I, I really want to investigate astrologically, see what's going on, see what was similar, what was happening in 1933 and what's happening now. So on the screen, I'm going to put two charts, two transit charts. One is of 1933 and one is of these times. And let's take a look and see what is similar. So back then, in 1933, we had the Pluto-Saturn opposition on the 410 axis. Okay, right now we've got Pluto-Saturn conjunct on that same 410 axis. Okay, so we've got these two key players, both of them on this 410 line. At the moment, we've got Pluto and Saturn conjunct in Capricorn. Very significant. Okay, uh, back then we had Neptune in Leo, so that was on the 511 line. And now we've got Neptune in Aquarius on that same 511 line. I actually think that Neptune in Aquarius is better than Neptune in Leo. So that's interesting because I, th I think Neptune in Aquarius is, is quite possibly some of the energy that is coming through the people, the grassroots movements and the people that are speaking up and the people who are saying, well, hang on, I don't agree with that. So, you know, that's, that's a good thing there. Back then we had Pluto, Saturn, square Uranus. Right now we've got Pluto and Saturn, square Uranus. We had Saturn in Capricorn back in 1933 and currently we've got Saturn in Capricorn. So we can see that the big heavy outer planets, they're arranged in a very similar way today that they were back then. A lot of the tensions between the stars back then are the same tensions in our sky right now. It's quite incredible. And I really like looking to the outer planets for things like generational change, for events in history that happen kind of once in a lifetime that you never forget. Uh, outer planets are brilliant to see, you know, things that affect all of humanity, everyone on the globe, you know, everybody's affected by this. So outer planets are really brilliant to study for these kind of things. Now, some of you might be wondering, 
you know, will we have 12 years of problems? In that quote that Russell Brand pulled out, you know, he talks about, okay, 1933 and, and the emergency powers, all this was going on for 12 years. Are we going to have 12 years of problems? No, I don't think so. I think the impact, I think there's going to be quite an impact that we'll be dealing with over this decade. But over the next few Astro Chat episodes, I do want to explore things like what's coming in the next five years. So I want to explore Saturn in Capricorn, Saturn in Aquarius. I want to go deep into those two. Uh, I want to take a look at this decade, see what's going on. And yeah, I want to see if we can get a feel for, you know, really what, what's coming ahead. So I'm going to try and use this Astro Chat space to be a little bit more topical, but not in a controversial way. I don't want to do that. I don't want to, you know, if it turns out that that's not being enjoyed, I'll, I'll change. But what I have noticed on my statistics is I've noticed that in the episodes where I mention something that's quite topical and quite current, you guys seem to be really liking that. So that's why I want to give you that kind of content. But in terms of this seeing 12 years of problems, I have the note here. No, things are happening a lot faster than back then. You know, the rate and speed of acceleration and change is a lot faster. That is down to technology. That's quite a few factors that are impacting that. Also, there are so many of us, there's a lot of things that are impacting all of this. But um, I've got the note here. I see cracks occurring in the plans of the, you know, top leaders during this October 2021 and March 2022 when Mars is in hard aspects to the bigger planets. So guys, I'm going to leave it there, but thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you next time. Mm -hmm.